Walk through any neighborhood in the triad and you're bound to see these three common plants. A white daisy, wisteria, and black-eyed Susans. But only one of these common plants is actually native to North Carolina. It's the black-eyed Susan. It's originally from here. The others are not. But there is a new push to bring more native plants like this to our area. This week, the Greensboro City Council adopted a policy to promote the use of native plants and eliminate invasive ones from city-owned facilities. From now on, whenever the city installs new or replacement plant materials in outdoor landscaped areas of city property, at least 50% of seeds and plants must be classified as native to North Carolina. The city is also working to make sure a list of plants native to just Guilford County is available. There are a few exceptions like athletic fields, plants used for soil and water remediation, feeding of zoo animals, and parks with educational purposes like the botanical garden. As a reason for the new ordinance, the city writes, native plants help maintain, restore, and protect the health and biodiversity of local ecosystems, supporting native pollinators, birds, and other wildlife. Native plants often require less maintenance, in addition to being part of the historical and cultural heritage of the community. Now, if you want to help put more native plants in your own yard, the staff over at the Kernersville Botanical Gardens says that milkweed is a great place to start. Milkweed is easy to grow and it helps caterpillars in a big way. This is a latex, like a white milky sap. That is unappealing to the predators. So. That's why the caterpillar will eat that because then it's ingested in that body, that, that latex is in that body, which then they become unappealing to the predators. So milkweed, you definitely need to grow. To find a list of more native plants to, in North Carolina, check out my Facebook page. Just search for Watchdog Biz.